So um, uh, regarding next meeting, that was another important thing. We already fixed most of the meetings. We have to end in May because uh, the uh, final report of the project has to be submitted in August 2022. And we need some time to prepare uh, the information that um, goes with the meeting. Regarding meetings, uh, for those who did not organize the a meeting, it's important to know that you will have to ask us, each of the people participating, for a CV of the artist uh, being responsible for the workshop, as well as a uh, description of the workshop. Okay, take that into account because it's very important. We have to send to the Spanish agency a report with all the CVs and all the description of the workshops that we did during the five, um, six, uh, sorry, six um, um, international meetings. And uh, of course, you can choose the types of activities that will be implemented during your, your uh, uh, meeting. It's up to you to decide how to organize the content of the meeting in Brussels or in Fredo. Uh, there is no a specific uh, definition of meeting as, as long as it's an adult training meeting. Okay? For those who came to Spain, and I think very few of you, well, Juliet, you were in Spain with us, the meeting here and the Spanish meeting had very little to do. Uh, but both, I think, were perfectly acceptable. Uh, uh, and I think the more the var variety of, of the meeting, the better for all of us, because we're going to see a wider range of, of uh, workshops and contents. And that's the important thing. Um, once the, the project is over, Capacitarte uh, will only last until August, I think it would be very interesting to ask for a new adult training project. I think uh, the network really needs uh, the exchange of artists in an adult way, not always thinking about exchanging how we work with children, but also in the way of, of let's train ourselves in other ways, people are working around Europe. Um, the problem is that this type of project will be difficult to sell to the Spanish agency because we already had uh, an, an initial Arte para la Motivación project, which took place five, six years ago. And then we asked for this uh, Capacitarte project uh, three years ago. And in the meantime, it took us three projects to get Capacitarte approved because they, they said, well, you're doing the same thing again. So um, it would be extremely interesting if we can apply this same type of model to another agency in Portugal, in, in Hungary, in Belgium, in Germany, and in Italy. Uh, because it's going to be difficult to, to be accepted in Spain. So, I mean, most of you are artists who are not working for the uh, structure of your Rusa countries. But for those who have a contact with your Rusa structures, it would be interesting to think about it. And to, uh, of course it's work, but at the end, I mean, as a project coordinator, I don't have made a lot of work more than Neptunius, because you're the national coordinator for no, the no. project. So at the end... Uh, I'm not the national coordinator. Well, um, I'm the local coordinator. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because we have... Uh,
Uh, but at the end, the complication of this type of project is coordinating your own international meeting. Yeah. The rest is attendance and flights and, and trips. So don't be afraid about uh, thinking of coordinating a, an international adult training project because you will receive from us uh, the text that was approved by the Spanish agency which means a lot of work already. Uh, of course, there are programs that detect if you're a copy of a project. Uh, but, um, I mean, if you are a little bit intelligent, okay. it's not that difficult to, just only while translating a project, you make it different. Yeah. So, uh, I think it's important to, to share it with you because um, it, it will be a pity not to continue with this type of project just because nobody uh, has the, the guts you know, to, to risk and, uh, and to make a little effort. It's an investment of time, of course, but uh, I think it's worth it. And uh, Werner is here today with us, and I'm sure he strongly recommends other countries to, to go for it. Um, I think that's more or less what I wanted to share with you. Um, I don't want to bore you with, with, with uh, why we presented Capacitarte. There is very little to understand about Capacitarte because at the end it's six meetings in six countries. That's all. Um, and uh, I mean, if you have doubts or any comments, it's just a good moment to share. It. More than doubts, if you have, oops, that's my fault. <laughs> <coughs> um, if, 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 even if, not doubts, but if you have um, criticism uh, to whatever you want, ask or uh, in Spain we say, we say shout forever.
to set our artists to those training uh, situations or to those training activities. Okay? Um, so that's a little bit everything. I think, um, is there any other questions? We can move on with, with your part. artists visiting other countries. Todas. All of them. Um, every country, I say it first in English and then in Spanish, every country decides who are the people traveling to the other meetings. And some countries decide that they want the same people to be trained during six international meetings. Others prefer to change the people traveling uh, to those international meetings. Other, uh, some countries, for example, like Spain, have overbooking. We have more artists than available trips. Other countries have the opposite problem. Nobody wants to travel abroad, and uh, they, they have problems facing those trips. So that's, that's why, I mean, uh, in our case, in the Spanish case, um, if you want to travel to Germany or Hungary, we, we perfectly accept it. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's, 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 di uh, it's different from country to country because in, in, in Portugal uh, we have problem, for example, uh, Leonor. Uh, I, uh, I asked here two times to, to, to go and uh, because of the diet uh, she can. So, and we don't have so many arts. So uh, in, in our case uh, we have to uh, uh, to, to make, uh, to ask, uh, ask for you, not ask, ask for you, uh, uh, because of, uh, we have other uh, jobs, and if we lose some, some guys, it's... it's Decide what's the best for their own organization. There is an important point in this project that I didn't mention. Uh, we have a very heterogeneous uh, mix of partners. Most of us are with the associations, of course, but we also have a comune, a consejo, we have a university, and uh, the University of Firenze, uh, who, who uh, they, they weren't able to come today, uh, um, and uh, we have two schools in the project, a Portuguese school and an um, Italian school. And the obvious question is, well, schools, don't they work with children? Why, why didn't you tell us, uh, why did you tell us that uh, children should not be included if you include uh, schools as partners? Okay, the reason why you included schools is because uh, schools are composed by teachers and also by families. And of course, during the COVID period, uh, the work with families has been very complicated has not existed, no. it didn't work with family. But the intention of the project was once we trained the artists in different countries, why don't we uh, try to make a training activity in each of our countries inside our schools with the teachers and with the families. So my proposal during this last year as COVID advances in a better way, um, hopefully. Well, yesterday we had a great example during the lunch and dinner. If we don't uh, wake up today with COVID, it's because there is no COVID in Europe. <laughs> so, um, so if there is, we will know it uh, in the next days. Uh, but uh, the idea would be, of course, in the Portuguese school and in the Italian school, it's a must. You, because you are partners. You have to make a training with their teachers and with their uh, families, if possible, at the end of the, pro of, of the project, okay? Because they are adults. Yeah. So, and in the rest of countries, we strongly recommend, okay, we pray, I beg it, uh, to make a training activity in a German school, in a Belgian school, in a, a Hungarian school and in a Spanish school with 
the teachers and uh, with uh, the families. What type of training? A music training activity. That the, end, the families must know what music is and the teachers must also, I mean, uh, uh, leave, not live, uh, a, a, a music experience. We do it in Spain, uh, like a must, before um, Mercedes or Pedro start working with the children, they already did a workshop with the teachers, and during the year, they must do at least four workshops with the families. That's a mandatory uh, request of FEMA in our countries, uh, in, in, sorry, in our schools. And I think it's, um, it's been very successful in Spain because it helps not only to bring the families closer uh, to the school and to the teachers, to bond between teachers and families, but also to understand what their, their children are, are, are doing at, at Mosul. No? So that's why we told, uh, we wrote on this project that it was important to um, involve uh, families and teachers in these capacitante training activities. Okay? Uh, <coughs> yes, Catalina. So Let's see. 
If it's the same situation, then we will explain to the Spanish agency it was absolutely impossible to do work with families due to the COVID situation, and they will understand it, of course. But if we have the chance, okay, of course, we, it's not only um, a proposal. We said we were going to do it, yeah. so that's yeah. why I'm asking you to, to take that into account. Yeah. Mercedes, can you have to go the Oh, okay, well, you have to go, no? Sorry, I have to leave you. Oh. It was a great pleasure to be here with you. And all the best, and hope to see you soon. As part of you, maybe in November in Germany. Thank, Thank, you, very Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. activity. 